Hey folks and welcome back. This is a follow-up to my video from this morning where I described how to make a burning near-infrared laser. Now, these lasers, which are readily available um, on eBay, are usually rated at around 5 milliwatts or less. But the, par the, the power of these lasers can actually vary pretty widely between one batch and another and so you don't exactly know what you're going to get when you get one of these now in order to make this into a burning laser it has to be refocused and the way to do that is to remove the end cap by using a pair of pliers and just prying it off basically by rocking it from side to side and or turning it there you go. So that pulled it right off. Now the actual lens that needs to be refocused is seen right back there. And it's actually got a, a divot in it for a wide screwdriver. So a screwdriver such as this can be placed in there to refocus that lens. Now one of the problems, you'll notice that little red dot in there. There's a little red thing in there. That's actually glue, which would prevent me from refocusing this with the screwdriver. It would prevent it from turning. So what you need to do to refocus this is to get rid of that glue by scraping it off, which is what I've done here. Let me show you this one. So what I did here is I actually cut down, so I cut the excess aluminum casing off, you know, I measured how far down I need to cut and just sawed off the excess aluminum so I could more easily access the lens. You don't really have to do this step, but I, I thought it would be good for this video to show you. And what I did is I scraped all the glue off and then to refocus the lens, I screwed it inwards to, the, to, a, to a point where I could get a very good focus. And I, you, this is trial and error. You turn it a little bit, put the batteries in and see what you get. Now, when you, when you do this, because you've changed the focal length and made the beam much more intense, you really need to use laser goggles when you test this. So I'm going to wear laser goggles. And we're going to shine it onto a piece of plastic. Here's some glasses cases that I used in my infrared laser video. And as you can see, it very readily burns the plastic and makes a little hole in it, actually. So it's very intense, probably more than the five watts, five milliwatts that it's rated for. I can smell that burning plastic right now. It's not very pleasant. So a pretty intense laser just by refocusing. And all I did was basically screw the lens in a little bit to get a sharp beam. Now let's see what this does to a match. I have a match here. And I'm gonna uh, shine this on the match. Here it goes. So you can easily light a match with it. Let's try another match, that was fun. So there you have it, simply by refocusing this blue laser, by screwing in the lens a little bit, you can get something that can burn. Now, the opposite is also true. If you turn the lens out all the way so that it, um, goes out of focus in the opposite direction, it'll make a divergent beam. Let's see what that looks like. This is what a divergent beam looks like. So there's no way this would burn anything. And this would be a lot safer. You probably, uh, you still need to wear your laser goggles, but a lot safer than that one that 
focus to a pinpoint. Well, there you have it. Laser with a divergent beam, a laser with a convergent burning beam, i.e. this one, and just a regular one that's not been changed, and simply by refocusing. So, um, hope you found this uh, interesting, and um, if you've got any comments or any suggestions, please, please uh, send me a message. All right, well, you take care, and uh, peace out.